Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ACER. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time, Frampton does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see in this situation. Makes a, you know mapping out a logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very nice bounce. I mean, when you consider where the price was at its low points of the day, and then all of a sudden where the price ultimately closed, any rational person is gonna say, yeah, the, the price definitely did make a nice move on the day. But that does lead to the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in this situation, it all revolves around this area right here at 350. Why is 350 important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 350. If the price were to go down to 350, and then all of a sudden break down through it, and just continue on down, what would that be doing to the price? Well, that would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range where the price just was. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price comes down here, however, behaves in this manner and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this instance? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have those lows down there. If you envision each of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, quote unquote, progress being defined as $3.50. Now, what about levels of resistance going into Monday? Initial level to keep an eye on. Gonna be right up there at the round number of $4. And then if four can be broken, next key overarching level is that former area of support right up there around 425. So definitely some room for this thing to keep on moving, uh, but really at the end of the day, top priority, at least in my opinion, is just chipping away and building higher lows because as long as you have higher lows being built over time, everything else will take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance, but very nice bounce today on Friday. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.